Then everyone, welcome back to another Fish with Jay video and today we're actually back down Clavering Lakes and we're on the Specimen Lake and I don't know if you can hear but it is raining. Now we got here a little bit early as we knew the rain was meant to come in. I don't know how well you can hear me but the rain was meant to come in and uh, yeah we're joined with Ollie fishing for a bite and we've also got Jake who is another Parker Bates ambassador. Now I'm sure we're going to bring you along our journey. As I say, it's absolutely pouring down at the minute, so I'm talking a bit loud. And uh, yeah, I'm sure we're going to catch a few fish, hopefully, and hopefully we have a 30. Let's do it. I thought I'd make up a little bit of my homemade pizza. I made this up yesterday. It's got sweet corn, mozzarella, stuffed crust as well with cheese. And uh, yeah, Woo! heated up in the old Ridge Monkey absolutely banging sweet corn on pizza mm. i just stepped in a puddle but yes i got my both rods out and uh yeah it's looking good i've had a couple of beeps on my left hand rod so uh yeah still raining as you can see not good but i'm gonna go see jake and uh yeah see what he's been doing let's do it well then, 20 minutes into my session, well, our session, and uh, yeah, I was just sitting in Jake's swim, as the swims are quite close together, I had my receiver obviously, and it ripped off, and, but yeah, what a common, lovely start, and uh, yeah, the new black monster crab magic beans doing the do. If you ain't had them, get on them now, new magic beans, get over to the Parker Bait store, get yours now, use code J for 10% off your first order. Bosh. Right, so we're in Jake's swim. He's got Mr. Bob Bob on his rods and the new quarter kais and greens. Here he is now, the Thank Nossa you. Pig Capturer. And uh, yeah, we keep seeing fish bosh all along this margin. Jacuzzi in absolutely everywhere. Surely it can't be long for you to have a bite, mate. Come on, the quarter kaisens. Bosh. Jake, no longer than two minutes after that video was saying he should have had a bite, his rod screamed off. Yep, natural magic beans, the brown one. Over a bit of bait, probably, I don't know, maybe six or seven scoops. Well, this morning when we got here, so yeah, I'm off the mark, buzzing. Let's go, <laughs> banger, mate. So then, these are the new Parker Bates Monster Crab Natural Magic Bean Wafters. Now, me and Jake, I caught on the black one, Jake caught on the brownish one. They seem to be smashing it up already. We've had two fish in, I think, about three hours now, two, three hours. So, uh, yeah, absolutely smashing the game up. And uh, it's still raining. But, come on, the carp. Bosh. Come on, the magic beans. Brought my bucket down, so... Right, shall I? In an early bath, eh? <laughs> shall I do the honours? I'll overlay the yeah, comment and then you do the honours. Absolute yeah. belter. So I'm going to do the honours, then Jake's going to do the honours, and then you've got a surprise. Well, then the rain is finally starting to slow up out there, and it's about 10 to 6. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of action down in that shallow corner, a lot of bubbling coming up. And uh, yeah, Jake's just put a little solid bag on it. Very, very good cast. Absolutely on the money. And uh, I'm cooking a little bit of pizza down there. And I'm just watching the water. To be fair, I'll probably redo the rods in about an hour, maybe half hour. But for now, keep watch and uh, let's have one. Come on, the car. ten to eight and we've reset all the rods gone round put a little bit more bait out and that consisted of sweet corn og fish pellet fruit and nut boilies fish boilies bit of lake water flat spot you name it it's in there and uh, yeah so we went round put a little bit of bait out and we're just going to sit on it tonight 
put a rod out in the middle, rod out on the uh, bait and see if we can catch a fish. It stopped raining, as you can see. Lovely. So we're gonna try and have a few fish tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll keep you updated. It's gonna be nice and sunny tomorrow, so a lot more filming will get done. Come on the carp, bosh. Good morning, everyone. After a slow, slow night, I had a couple of beeps. Jake had a couple of beeps, but we didn't have anything. No fish. Um, but yeah, the lake is full today, so hopefully that'll push the fish around. Well, sun's out, so we've got the bacon on the go. Lovely stuff. Got Jake here. And uh, yeah, a couple of people were turned up down there. But it's absolutely beautiful day. I've got a zig out there. Yellow foam, black aligner. Come on, look up. Right, fish number two for Jake. Just absolutely screamed <laughs> off while we were cooking a bit of bacon, didn't it, mate? Yeah, I just, um, just chucked a solid bag under the falling tree over there. Probably out, what, maybe half hour? Yeah. Five minutes and... Quick little bite, wasn't it? Yeah, nice Love little it. one. Perfect condition, so. Lovely stuff. Oh, what was that, a yellow or orange? orange? Yeah, orange, orange bean. Orange well, bean, yeah. Can't beat them. Get on them now. But yeah, let's get some pictures of this nice little common and uh, catch you in a bit. Then while we were sorting out Jake's fish, a fish actually boshed on my baited spot. So I was actually resting it. So I've now put a solid bag on that. And I'm going to quickly make up some more solid bags. Let's do it. And everyone, look who's joined us. Good morning. Ollie, fishing for a bite up his YouTube up here. Ollie's staying an extra night with us on a little guest ticket, staying behind my swim. We're just chilling in Jake's swim. Here he is. Gordon Ramsay, mate. Gordon Ramsay's cousin. He's cooking up a bit of burgers. I'm sure we get a bit of footage of that. Chef Ramsay's cousin. <laughs> Thank you for that, mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> come on, the car. And come on, the Parker Bates. Well, fish number three for you, isn't it, Jake? Yep. Just put, well, we went round about, what, five minutes ago and put some more bait out. Chucked a single brown <laughs> magic bean over the spot and, yeah, say five minutes later, ripped off. Yeah, just hopefully get something a bit bigger next. Lovely, mate. Let's get some pictures and uh, get the rod back out. Well then, fish number two for me. Me and Jake and Ollie went round, baited our spots again. Jake had one straight away. I had one about half an hour later. This lovely little comet rod straight back on the spot on the bait and uh, yeah lovely stuff so we get this coming back and hopefully we'll have another one but then the cooking station is active we've got jake cooking up a bit of pasta and garlic bread or he's gonna cook up some uh, sausages and i've got some bacon on the go Ho -ho -ho! mate look at this little cooking station lovely views here's jake come on the car Fish number three for Jake, isn't it, mate? Four. <laughs> Can't lose the track. This is a solid bag. It didn't quite land on the spot, but what he did, he pulled it out, um, the reeds a little bit, and uh, yeah, you made it happen, didn't you, mate? Oh well, yeah, I was just, just sat on the bench, remember, just having dinner, and I said, I'm not very happy with solid bags. I thought it landed in the reeds, and when I pulled it back, I thought, I'm not 100% happy with it, so. I was just saying to them, like, I'll probably redo it, and as I finish the sentence, I'd have ripped off, so. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely buzzing. Absolute banger. <laughs> Fully scaled, almost. Couple of scales missing, but yeah, lovely fish. And uh, should we get the rod back out? And let's have some more. Bosh. Jake is into another fish. Go on, the boy. <laughs> Go on, the boy. How's it feel? Better? Oh, totally. Yeah, man. That same one out Probably by that. Pasty, but... Hopefully not, mate. <laughs> Far... Right by that far margin. Come on, the car. Four from the same spot. Lovely. Gosh, it's just, a bit bigger. just as we're getting in bed. Yeah, typical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely. Getting a bit bigger, so hopefully we can keep taking them off. And well then, Jake, this is your third one of the night. Yeah, I had a, a little common at about midnight, and then. About one o'clock, I had a little ghostly comment, and then I just had this up over the bait at the spot. We'll give her a little weigh in a second. I reckon she's about 20 pounds, maybe low 20. But yeah, lovely common, biggest of the session. And uh, I'm glad that you kept catching, and that 30 is on her way, boy. <laughs> Bosh. Bosh.
good morning and it has been a uh, tough night for me to be fair i didn't is that jay <laughs> yeah tough night for me last night i didn't have anything jake absolutely smashed it he had three um you would have saw two of them one of them was quite small so we unhooked it and got it back but yeah he had a nice 22 pounder but it's about six o'clock now oh and i forgot to update you I've actually moved swim. So I'm um, just the next swim up. And uh, yeah, moved swim about five o'clock this morning. Didn't have anything last night. So I thought, you know what? There's nothing to lose. Move up by the tree. And hopefully I have a couple of fish tonight. But we're on the cooking station. We're about to cook a little bit of bacon. Let's do it. Fish number three for me. And uh, yeah, after a change of swim, I uh, managed to have a quick bite. I put one on the left hand side of the tree, but fish keep boshing on the right. And I said to Jake, I'll give it an hour and if something happens, I'll put one on it. So yeah, I put one on it and had a bite within five minutes. So yeah, another small one, but happy to have another bite. See what we can do. Come on, look up. Well, so we're just sitting here and uh, a lot of fish are coming through on the surface. Both ways, they're coming in and out of this corner. And they keep coming in and out of that bush that I'm fishing. I've got one each side now. And uh, yeah, as I say, they keep coming through and back. I think they're just cruising because the sun's out and it's nice and warm for them. But hopefully, we can have one. Let's do it, mate. Come on. I've just lost a decent fish. I think it was a ghosty. Jake just saw it as the hook pulled. But yeah, that was a decent fish, man. But Rod's back out there. And uh, hopefully, we might have another one. So, heads up, let's have a 30. Fish number four, what a cracker it is. Lovely mirror, peachy colours. Got the rod straight back out after I lost one and this went 10 minutes later. So, get it back ASAP. What a fish. Bosh. No, he's in again. We didn't even get to get the last fish back. <laughs> Bosh. Just as um, I was just about to pick the swing up and uh, put the fish back. I heard my alarm actually screaming. The fish went back safely and sound. And we're into another one. Hectic five minutes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like another decent one as well. Bash. Whoa. Fish number five for me. Come off the left hand rod this time. Solid bag, other side of the tree. Caught her on one of the Parker Bates Magic Beans in a solid bag with mini mix pellet and pink Himalayan rock salt. And uh, yeah, we've been seeing, seeing them move in and out of that tree all day and finally we've been able to nail one. 21 and a half pound and yeah, lovely common. We thought it was a bit bigger, but yeah, lovely stuff. Let's get her back. 23.7 gave me the fight of my life. I thought it was a 30, man. We thought it was chunk, but... Yeah, what a lovely fish. Absolutely cracking condition, mate. What a lovely linear. What a fish, mate. It's an absolute beautiful one, isn't it? One of the best I've had out of it. And yeah, what a moment. Bosh. Let's have a look at the other side. Well, here's the other side of the absolute banger I've just caught. Caught on a magic bean in a solid bag, Parker Bates uh, mini mix and pink Himalayan rock salt. You can't stop it anywhere from catching. What a fish. Let's get it back. Bosh. Just got my rods out and had a double take. <laughs> got a nice common in there, nice dark one in there. <laughs> Mental, mate. <laughs> hey. That's what magic beans do. <laughs> well, fish number seven, and uh, yeah, another double take. We just went round, put a little bit of bait out, and I mean a handful on each spot. Got a bag on both spots and had a double take. So yeah, this is the first one. Got a bigger one in the net and uh, yeah, lovely little jet black common. So uh, we'll get it back, get a bigger one out. Watch. Fish number two of the double takes, number eight overall. Another nice common. Pretty much commons in here. Not 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 had many mirrors, have we? Maybe three. No, yeah, three, yeah, three. But three, they've yeah. all been bangers, mate. But yeah, another lovely common. Original wafter, fruit and nut. So yeah, we get it back. Lovely stuff. Fish number nine. <laughs> I feel like all I'm doing is just chatting to the camera with fish now. This, uh, yeah, five minutes on the spot again. Nice little common, but uh, yeah, just been mental, isn't it? Mate? Oh, mate, the last, what, two, three hours have just been crazy, it's been isn't it? Crazy, man. Hopefully Jake has a couple, couple more now that sun's gone in. Some 
nasty weather looks like coming, but we're catching fish, so that's the main thing. Rod's back out, hoping for a 30. Let's do it. What's this there, mate? Well, been a camera run for you all afternoon, aren't I? <laughs> been in the action. <laughs> you thought you'd have a quick one. <laughs> this is number 10 for you. Yeah, it's been a good session over the baited spot, so hopefully it can produce another couple tonight and one of these 30s, mate. Smashing it. Let's yeah, go. Mate. So since we had that fish, it's all gone quiet. A um, couple of people turned up next to Jake and, uh, yeah, just down there. But... Yeah, it seems to have gone quiet since um, my last fish, to be fair. Um, not many have been showing, but I've had a few liners, to be fair. So hopefully tonight it turns on for Jake as well. Hopefully you have a few tonight, mate. Hopefully, mate. And uh, hopefully I have a few as well. So all we can do is sit back and wait. I've put a little bit of OG fish pellet over the spots and uh, fingers crossed for an Ossa. Bosh. Well... Just trying to get my head down. And uh, screamed off again, mate. Look at this. Fish number 20. Wash. Well, yeah, it's about 10 o'clock. My right hand rod screamed off just before I was about to fall asleep. Another chunky common. And uh, yeah, that's fish number 10 for me. 20 overall. Smashing it up on these new magic beans, mate. Well, well, well. Fish number 12 for yeah. you. Nice 20 pound common, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Golden colours, mate. Lovely stuff. Yeah, as I say, it's a low 20. It's a nice common. What's that, baited spot? Yeah, mate, hold on. OG fish original wafter. Sick, mate. Lovely stuff. And slip her back. Well, woke up this morning, redid the rods, and uh, yeah, lost one on the left hand rod, mate. Went within five minutes, lost it, gutted. Rod straight back out, starting to pack up. Let's do it. All right, that's silly. Well then, um, had a triple take, mate. This is the best looking one, absolute peach, scaly, bang on. Um, caught an orange magic bean to the far margin. What I did, I walked around and placed my solid bag, literally, a foot away from the bank and put some OG fish pellet on. Lost one, had one, had one, had one. <laughs> so yeah, what a peach. And uh, let's get the others out. Bosh. Bosh. Oh boy. Fish number two of the extreme double take, mate. Pink magic bean this one on the right hand rod this time. Was it? No, it was the left No, this again. was the left, yeah. And it's probably the biggest of all three. And uh, yeah, another lovely common. Fish number 12. Bosh. Fish number three is a double take, little common. So, uh, yeah, it's got a little rough, it feels quite rough on the skin, but yeah, you said you had one like that, didn't you? Yeah, I think one of my first fish was like that as well. I think it was a common as well. So. But yeah, I'm gonna waste no time, get this back, get the rods back out, bosh. That is us pretty much done here at Clavering Lakes. And yeah, it's been a bad one. Barra's pretty much packed. Um, I lost that nice one just now. Didn't put the rods back out, um, just thought I'd pack up. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much packed up. I hope you enjoyed the video, this absolute haul again. Just like A12, if you haven't checked that out, check it out, it's an absolute banger. So yeah, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and uh, see you soon.